This is a repair and maintenance video for the General Pump model MWSR. Before starting, you will need the Valve Removal and Installation Kit FKITMWV. Tools from this kit that you will need are a 10 mm adapter, a 32 mm collet, a 40 mm collet, a slide hammer, short positioning pins, a soft rubber mallet, a flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, a round head tool, a pick, an impact wrench with a 14 mm hex drive, packing lubricant, and a torque wrench. First, remove the front inlet valve plate by removing the upper outer two bolts. After removing these bolts, insert the two short positioning pins. Once the pins are securely in place, remove the remaining retaining bolts. Remove the inlet valve plate. Attach the 10 mm adapter to the slide hammer. Thread the slide hammer into the valve cage. Remove the valve. Behind the valve, remove the O-ring and the backup ring. Use a flathead screwdriver to pry the valve cage from the seat and disassemble the valve components. Thoroughly inspect all components. Check the backup ring and the O-ring for fraying, cuts, or excessive wear. Check the valve seat, the seating surface for the poppet, the plastic guide, and the spring. Finally, check the condition of the cage, paying attention to the cage posts for excessive wear. Replace any of these parts if necessary. Reassemble the valve, the poppet to the seat, the guidant, the spring, and finally the cage. Be sure to properly center the plastic guide into the threaded hole of the cage to prevent any damage. Check the movement of the seat, the poppet, and the spring before reinserting. Next, remove the eight retaining bolts from the top outlet valve plate. Remove the top outlet valve plate. Attach the 10 millimeter adapter to the slide hammer. Thread the slide hammer into the valve cage. Remove the valve. In this instance, the cage came off of the seat. Remove the remaining valve components. The seat will remain in the manifold. Attach the 32 millimeter collet onto the slide hammer. Thread it into the seat. Using the 19 millimeter wrench, Tighten the collet. Remove the seat using the slide hammer. And the backup ring. All of the valve bores in the manifold should be thoroughly checked for pitting or for any additional damage to the manifold seating surface. Also check the O-ring seal.
Install the backup ring, making sure it is properly seated. Install the O-ring, making sure it is properly seated. Using the 10 millimeter adapter on the slide hammer, thread it onto the valve. Reinstall the valve. Remove the slide hammer. Insert the O-ring into the manifold for the valve plate seal. Insert the backup ring, making sure it is properly seated. Install the O-ring, making sure it is properly seated. Thread the valve onto the slide hammer. Thoroughly seat it into place. Remove the slide hammer. Install the short support pins. Slide the valve plate back into place. Install the eight retaining bolts. Remove the support pins. These bolts should be torqued in a sequence, starting with the middle bolts and working around in a circular pattern. Use the proper torque specs, which can also be found on page 52 of the repair manual. Reinstall the outlet valve plate using the eight bolts. These should also be torqued, starting with the middle bolts and working around in a circular pattern. Use the proper torque specs, which can also be found on page 52 of the repair manual. 